So, what does it take to have $1 million in your 401k? How do you get there? Our Karen Feinerman is over at the Plasma with a new segment that we are calling Fast 401k. So, Chairwoman, take it away. All right. So, the very first thing and the hardest thing really to do is to start saving as soon as possible, right? It doesn't matter whether or not you have saved up until this point. For the rest of your life, today is the very best day for you to start saving. So don't let not having it done it keep you from making that same mistake again. So that's the really important thing. That's first. The second thing is, this is so important, use the company match. Companies are allowed to contribute to your 401k to up to 3% of your salary, right? So this is free money. You have to, if you can, if you can do this every year, get free money, there's no reason you shouldn't do that. So you contribute 6% or more, they will contribute up to 3%. Remember, this keeps compounding. So if you're really young, if you're a millennial here, let's see what you're, you have to decide when are you gonna need the money out for retirement? So let's say 60. So as Dom said, when you're young, you wanna have a much more aggressive composition of your portfolio. You might wanna be, let's say something like 80-20, stocks to bonds. 80 stocks, you consider that riskier, but also likely to have higher returns, and you have a longer time for that to compound, and if it ends up having a drawdown, meaning you lose money, you have a lot of time to make that back. This is just sort of a, a proxy for what one might do. You have to weigh your own situation and how aggressive you wanna be. For me, I always like to be more aggressive, not in the stocks that I pick, but in the composition of the portfolio. I would probably be higher, but I'm older than a millennial, so then maybe I would start to take it down. But the very first thing, start saving as soon as possible and use the match. Those are the critical points. BK or millennial here on the desk is a question. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some avocado toast. I have a question actually about the particular type. So what exactly is a Roth IRA? Would you do it any different? Is it just for people with the last name Roth? Uh, that's a great question. It is not just for people with the last name Roth. The thing about a 401k like this, this is pre-tax dollars that you put in, right? So you don't pay tax on them. You put them in here in a 401k, and you, when you take the money out, you get taxed. A Roth, which actually I prefer, you get taxed. The, the money's taxed going in. It's after-tax dollars that you use to put in the Roth IRA. However, when you take it out, you aren't taxed. To me, the beauty of that is... I won't know what the tax rate will be, but I'll know that it's not taxed on the way out. So both are great instruments. I happen to have a Roth, but both are great. Start saving today. So within that stock bucket, Karen, and I understand that that stock bucket adjusts according to your age, but within that bucket, does your allocation to riskier stocks also slide as you get older? For instance, I mean, if you're a millennial and you got 80%, is, is most of that 80% going to be FANG stocks, for instance? You can choose. Most places will let you choose. You can choose as aggressive as you want. You could even choose your own company stock. Other places, you can just say, you know what? Do it for me. I'm sort of not so pro-risk, and they'll do it for you. They'll rebalance.